Fall is in the air and Halloween is just around the corner. Watch Home and Family every day for fun, spooky, but not too scary, craft and decorating ideas for the whole family. Oh, oh my gosh, how cute is that? How cute. So cute. We love Halloween here at Home and Family. What season is it? It's pumpkin season. No, it's Shirley and pump, pump, pumpkin. Pumpkin. It's pumpkin. pumpkin season uh -huh. and Shirley and Tanya spent the weekend actually at the pumpkin patch oh. finding the perfect pumpkin for Ava's craft. Yes. I know, Wonderful. we had a good time. Yeah, so what did you guys actually do this weekend? I mean, I know you went there, so. We well, did. we bonded, right? We Through did. over pumpkins. We had a great time. Ava had a great time. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a look at the video went. and we can see how it went. <laughs> Crackers, check this out. Tiny pumpkin. This is called a wee little. Comes in white. Comes in orange. I like the white though. You can really see the colors when you paint on it. Something else? This is one of the newer ones. It's called Apprentice and it's perfectly round. This is great for little hands. So I think Ava might like this for crafting. Don't forget your gourds. I know that they look kind of freakish and warty, but these dry beautifully and they last all season long. Now, if you're gonna make a pumpkin pie, I'm gonna give you a trade secret. This is what you need. Butternut squash, yes. This is what's used in commercial pumpkin mix. I kid you not. children so to pumpkin patches. So Shirley, how yes. do we go about selecting the perfect pumpkin? Okay, the first thing you wanna look at is that it has a long stem. This is where all the vitality of your pumpkin is. So it should be long, as long as possible, and also not oozing any of the sap. So look for that, then check it carefully that it doesn't have any you know, gouges or any big scars because once that happens or if it's soft, it's gonna to start to decline. The other thing is pumpkins come in a lot of different colors. They come in whites, reds, oranges. Make Even sure blue. that colors, and blue. Make yeah, sure it's, I love the blue yeah, pumpkin. You gotta make sure it's vivid. And I like to pick it up and feel how heavy it is because pumpkins are mostly water. Mm. They should be pretty heavy, pretty heavy. for the size. Okay. So that's how you choose it. How do we preserve it though? Okay, what? I know. Yeah, right? like after right. a day, it's just gone. It breaks your yeah. heart. It's yeah, true. I know. It's Unfortunately, true. it's just like anything. Once you cut into it, it starts to decay. Yeah. So really, when you, we do these carving projects, we've got to work. Oh, are you Sorry. laughing about something? We've got to. We've got to pretend like we're doing surgery. Everything has to be super clean. I kid you not. So the first thing you do to preserve a pumpkin is before you even cut into it, mm -hmm. make sure that you clean it. And I have here a solution of bleach and water. I made a gallon of water. I added two tablespoons of bleach, put it in here, and then you just spray it all on the outside before not on you the cut. Inside? Well, not yet. And then you take your instruments of torture <laughs> and you sanitize them. Here, you're gonna need I'm this. I'm gonna need this one. So that's the first thing. Once it's already uh, been opened up like this, you need to do two things. Number one, you wanna sanitize this. So what you do, you use the same mm -hmm. uh, bleach like this. Some people like to dip their pumpkin into a bucket with that gallon of water uh -huh. and leave it there for a few minutes. I like to just spray it right. generously. Oh, you can smell it. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can smell it. Yeah. So that's a decent a disinfectant. And then you dry it really well. Now, I've told you guys about Wildproof before. Right. Yeah. One of my favorite products for anti-drying. That's the other problem with your pumpkins that are carved as they start to dry out. So what you do is you just saturate it with Wildproof. Oh. If you don't, there. yeah, but if you don't have little proof, Vaseline, oh, and a little bit of spray, spray oil. oil, yeah, just spray this on and do a nice glop on the outside. And how long and will the inside. inside? How long will it last wow. then? If it, you treat it like that, it'll double the life. So okay. three days becomes six days. Sometimes so. you can go as much as eight. All right, so oh. Tanya, what did you do to make? Uh, what did you do to this pumpkin? Well, I definitely am going to take up. I'm going to yes. take up on your tips because I want this guy to last for a while. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so this is I how you make this guy. That. How cute is that? Isn't he cute? Wow. This is like a kind of a cookie that. monster yeah. type thing. Yeah. Monster. So easy to make too. It didn't take me long at all. So the first thing I did is I took my pumpkin and I cleaned out the inside. I gutted mm -hmm. the whole thing nice and clean. 
I did not preserve it, which I'm going to do when I'm done. That's right. Right? You don't <laughs> want to do that when you're using a cookie. Yeah, I would yeah. use the natural stuff. Oh, that's stuff. right. Yeah. I would that's, use the natural true. stuff. Yeah. So then you take it outside in a well-ventilated area and you spray paint it. I got this paint at Michael's and it works really, really is well. Is that pumpkin spray paint? It's actually graffiti <laughs> spray paint. Oh, okay. Oh, it's it is. Graffiti spray paint. It's the oh, good stuff. It's the good stuff. Um, okay. Yeah, so you, you, get a, you get a couple cans of that and you want to do more than one coat. So spray it first and then spray it again a little while later after it's dried. Then you take it inside and you cut out the mouth. I didn't want to demonstrate this because mm. it's very easy, right, to cut out this shape. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then you take your little googly eyes. You can get these at any craft store again. My tip here is to glue them together first before putting them on. Because well, it looks like you separated. made these, though. You didn't buy them. You made them, right? Well, the balls I actually bought. The styrofoam balls yeah. you purchased, this was made with a Sharpie okay. pen. Oh, yeah. So you did make it. You did Super make fast. it. Super fast. Okay. Yes. Right. Yes. All right. Um, and then my tip, though, here is make sure you glue them together before you put them on your monster. Whoa. Oh, there you and go. Then, <laughs> <laughs> and then another tip, just so you get it kind of right, you want to make sure. <laughs> did I have the eyeballs over here? You know, you can put your eyes wherever you want. <laughs> okay. So you want to make sure that these are kind of the same width as the lips of the mouth. Perfect. Oh my gosh, and we're so done there. Well, it's amazing how that thing comes to life when and you put the little yeah. eyes yeah. on it. I lined it right there's just a hole in a pumpkin, and then you add the lights, you know? Yeah. What did nope. you line? You want to line the inside of the pumpkin or saran wrap so that the cookies don't get soggy, because you mm -hmm. want to take care of your cookies. Sure. Yes. Yeah. And you Where'd can do a gigantic one. You can do a smaller one. Where'd this you get the hair? Pumpkin. How'd you get the well, hair? Well, this was... Um, Maribu. This was something that if I don't take back home tonight, Ava's going to kill me. Oh. Um, I got this in her little dress-up box. Oh, that's oh it's like a little adorable. boa or something? It's, it's, it's a boa. See, yeah. now he's bald. Yeah. He looks oh. cute bald, too. Yeah. yeah. And, I've uh, seen that at Michael's, though. You can buy stuff like that. You can even eat orange or pink or you whatever. Can. But that's adorable. This is uh. enchanting. I love it. Could you thank put you. his hairpiece back on? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I wonderful. Really By the way, big thank you, Shirley and Tanya, for these wonderful little projects. You can go to our website, homeandfamilytv.com, for more information or head over to Shirley's, which is foodiegardener.com. All right, coming up, uh, actress Kellen Coleman is here. She's talking about her new CBS sitcom, The McCarthy's. McCarthy's.